What are you smiling at? Yemi's giving me some pointers, and now I'm messaging Leo, 1.7 kilometers away, wants me to come round his for fun. Ooh, nice. I'm just nervous in case. It turns out to be a murderer. No, I'm just a virgin. Well, what would Yemi do? He strictly told me, ring the bell. Put one hand on the door frame and the other on your hip. Kiss him once the door's immediately shut and straight away ask him where is the bathroom. Go upstairs and wash your willy under the warm tap, then finally pop into his bedroom to check for webcams. Right, OK, I'm going to stand guard outside the gaff. Right, if he's a weirdo, just text me a safe word, OK, and I'll introduce him to the twins. It's elaborate, but... Mate, your safety is not elaborate to me, all right? Now, just don't do anything I wouldn't do. I mean, I wouldn't shag a bloke, but you get what I mean. Thanks, Danny. This was it. So, hello, Jake. How are you? Yeah. Didn't correct him. I'm OK, thanks. Welcome, welcome. Uh, would you like a lovely lager? Ah, oh, I don't really drink beer. <laughs> Nor do I. I just bought them in case a lovely lad like you might want a lager. Nice house, Leo. Thanks. I live here with my wife. Hi. Wi-Fi. It's very strong. Would you like the password? I'm good. Um. Do you fancy a cheeky slush puppy? <laughs> you having a nice time? No. Yep. <laughs> my mother used to stay in this room when she came to visit. Lovely. Yeah. She died last year. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Well, you can tell her yourself. <laughs> yeah, she died in this room, peacefully, in her sleep, after watching Repeater come dine with me. There's worse ways to go. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Would you like to come dine on me? Uh, I've already eaten. My greedy boy. <laughs> Should I get out my Willy Winkle now? Oh, I'm not sure that's necessary. Now, oh, come on, I'll get me trousers on. <laughs> Yes, it is quite hot. Oh, yes, it is hot. <laughs> like a curry. Well, I wasn't thinking a curry. I was. Oh, I love a booner. <laughs> a lamb booner. Um... Oh, God. Um, it's really warm in here. It's all right if I open this window. A bit stiff, Jake. <laughs> knows what I was thinking, but you weren't coming, and as I was assessing the height of jumping, all of a sudden... <laughs> Mum! I just see you that is. What's happening, boss man? Why do you want to see Big D, then? You failed first, Jamie. Your attendance have been dire. Your hand-ins are sporadic to non-existent. The head of department says you can't carry on for second year. Oh, right, uh... The thing is, I know you can do better, because when you do write, it's full of humour and kindness. It's the kind of stuff I'm envious of myself, but you never hand any of it in. Look, you can appeal the uni's decision. And I would encourage you to do so. Because I don't think you've been feeling your best. And you deserve a chance. OK, um... Yeah. Like, well, OK, what do I need to do? Paperwork. Oh. Loads of really boring paperwork. So I've got to write an initial letter saying that I'm going to reapply over the summer and then just wait. Where are you staying this summer? Oh, knows. I mean, my nan still hasn't given her flat back to the council, so props to her. And it beats my dad's sofa, innit? Oh, mate. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. How was your shag? Can't do it. I think it's time. I need to come out to Mum. Oh. Nope. No, I'm not doing that. Right. 
This is what we are going to do. You and I, we are going to bash this bitch out until it's done. Jack, may you please run to town and get me a Big Mac with no gherkins and strawberry milkshake? And can you also get a four pack of Red Bulls because we are pulling an all nighter until this is done. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Okay. <clears throat> you alright? Yep, fine. Password? Uh, okay. Well, it's old, but. What's the password, Danny? Fanny King. How does that read? Yeah, it's amazing. Why do you care so much about me staying? Because I'd miss you. Mm, hello, hello. <laughs> I've realised that over the past few months, I don't really like Corinne. It's fine. And I don't like many people like Corinne. Oh, you're not a racist, are you? No, I... I like boys. I like, like, men. And I ain't said anything... ..cos... ..I'm worried I... I let down Dad. I don't want to let down Dad. And I don't want to let down you. Mate, does your mum think you're racist? No. I told her and she left. Right. Do you remember these, year three at school? You'd have to decorate and fill up an old shoebox for the poor Romanian kids. Bung in warm gloves, a tube of Aquafresh, and an S Club 7 CD from Woolworths. Yeah. Well, we never gave this one away. Because you were about six, and you point blank refused to drop it in because you said you wanted to keep one for yourself. Jack, keeping the orphans from Rachel Stevens, that's selfish. Anyway, do you remember Saturday nights as a kid, you watched The X Factor, and then straight after on ITV2, there'd be The Extra Factor. Yeah? Yeah. Well, at the very beginning, all the X Factor judges, they'd write down their predictions about who they thought would win. And then a few weeks later, the final, Connie Huck would open the envelopes and see you guessed correctly. Yeah, 2010, I was firmly Team Wagner. Um, we love Gamu, don't we? Always. Anyway, one Saturday night, your dad had hit the wacky backy, and I'd had a couple of Quantros, and so, um, we decided to make our own predictions. But about you... Huh? Yeah, we both wrote down what we thought he was going to be like when he was older, and we put them in envelopes, and I kept them in this box for you to open on your 21st as a silly present. Do you want to open it? I wrote, it'll be a solicitor living in a new build by the high street. <laughs> as if I'd ever be able to afford one of those. <laughs> what did Dad put? It will probably be a dancer maybe with a boyfriend up in London. Yeah, he'd always said to me, your dad, he said, he could be gay, you know. Mainly because you were so good at remembering the Spice Girls choreography. <laughs> He's still good at that. I promise you, Jack, he may not be here to say it, but me and your dad, we don't care. All I ever wanted was you and for you to be happy. You know, whether you've got kids, an husband, or just a fish called Alison. As long as you're happy and healthy and not a nonce. That's what matters.